हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डबल सैम्पलिंग प्लान नुमेरिकल एंड द क्वेश्चन इज इन डबल सैम्पलिंग प्लान आर लॉट साइज ऑफ फाइव थाउजेंड आइटम इज गिवेन एंड फॉर टेकिंग डिसीजन ऑन दिस फाइव थाउजेंड आइटम वी विल टेक टू सैम्पल फर्स्ट सैम्पल इज ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड सेकेंड सैम्पल इज ऑल्सो ऑफ हंड्रेड आइटल आर्टिकल्स एंड द एक्सेप्टेंस नंबर गिवेन इज zero for the first sample and fun is for the second sample acceptance number means we will accept the sample if if and only if we will get zero defective in first sample and one defective in second sample okay so what we have to compute we have to compute probability of acceptance and with the 1% defective lot what is this 1% 1% defective means uh, defective of 1% is permissible okay and next uh, second we have to find the aoql remember the main uh, full form of aoql this is average outgoing quality level ye wo quality level hai jo ki bahar ja rahi hai okay and third we have to find the average number of article the total number of article which we have inspected okay so start we start a solution by uh, writing given and you have to write in this format in exam also first we have to write given what are the different parameters given in the question capital n small n1 n2 c1 c2 and small p what is r r is the rejection number when the number of defecting exceed this c2 then we will reject the whole lot 5000 and once this lot is rejected we have to go for 100% inspection okay 100% inspection means we have to check all 5000 items okay so uh first we will calculate the number of defective article number of defective article is total out of 1000 5000 uh, 1% defective is permissible so we will calculate it like this 5000 multiply by 1% that is 1 by 100 and it will come out 50 50 article number of uh, defective article is permissible out of 5000 okay now the non defective article when 5 uh, out of 5000 50 is defective we have to Uh, check the non defective remaining is non defective articles okay now we have to uh, check the condition for which acceptance of this lot can be done okay there are two condition the very first condition is when there is zero defective only zero uh, no defective is there in first sample okay when there is no defective in first sample and second condition is when one defective exist in first sample what does this mean when we check or inspect 100 articles we got n defective article out of 100 then what we have to do we have to move to the second sample okay and in second sample when we got zero defective means out of that 100 we will get zero defective then we will accept the lot okay remember this c2 is 1 this one mean combined result of first and second sample okay now okay right now we have to write the probability of acceptance of zero defective in first sample how we will calculate this in first sample we know n1 is 100 okay we have taken a sample of 100 and percentage defective allow is 1% so we will calculate the value of np that is 100 multiply by 1% defective it is 1 it will come out a uh, it is it will uh, be 1 okay and c is given as 0 in the question so by using poisson distribution table by why we, we are using poisson distribution table here as we have discussed in our previous question their lot size and is uh, that uh, sample size is very small but here our lot size is greater in number what does this mean we cannot use permutation and combination concept here with the lots with the sample size of 100 that's why we are using poisson table 
okay here this is a poison table which will give us the probability value probability of acceptance with, with the multiplication of 1000 uh, Persian exponential binomial limit 1000 multiplied by probability of C and NP value okay so here we will check the NP value of 1 okay and C is 0 so we will get the probability of acceptance as 368 so this is given in the multiple of 36,000 uh, so we will write it as 368 divided by 1000 that is 0 0.360 okay this is the probability of zero defective in first sample now we will move to the second condition what is the second condition second condition is that if we will get one defective in first sample we will get one defective in first sample so np will be this one and c will be one we will use this g table and we will get value of one and 1 so value of 1 and this 1c one is 736 so we will write it as 0.736 here we have to note down one thing this is the probability of getting one defective it also include the probability of zero defective also so we will subtract this probability of getting zero defective from this why because we exactly want one defective okay so we will subtract it the probability of one defective in first sample minus probability of zero defective in first sample so what we get we will get 0 0.368 of getting probability of getting exactly one defective in first sample okay now next step is to calculate this the same thing for the second sample also now second sample we will keep aside that hundred articles which we have checked in first sample and that is 5000 minus 100 why because we have already checked this many 100 items so total uh, our lot size remain will be 4900 okay similar uh, in the previous question we will calculate the number of defective and number of non defective by using percent defective of 1 and here again we will calculate n2p that is same 100 multiply by 1 person that is 1 and C2 is 0 here. I have already explained you why we have taken 0 not 1. Why? Because the uh, C2 given in the question is the combined effect of first and second sample. When we already get 1 defective in first sample, now we only have the opportunity of getting 0 defective in second sample. Okay this is the explanation i have written also so simi similarly in the previous case uh, we will find the value of zero defective in second sample as 0 0.36 with the value of 1 and 0 from the g table okay now we have to calculate the total probability of acceptance how we will calculate it we have to combine see we have discussed this condition condition for acceptance of lot first is the probability of zero defective in first sample so we will write zero def probability of zero defective first sample second condition was for one defective in first sample okay if we will get one defective in first sample we will move to second defective and the combined result will give the second sample result so we will multiply this two value we will put this numerical values and we will get answer of this probability of acceptance okay now what we have to calculate next next we have to calculate the average outgoing quality level we have discussed in class that uh, aoq that is average outgoing quality the formula is there that is form what is formula probability of acceptance multiply by percent effective capital N minus small n divided by capital N but this formula will convert to P A minus P when when n is that is sample size is very very small than lot size ok so we here we will calculate our AOQ as probability of acceptance that we have calculated 0 0.5034 multiplied by 1% so our acceptance average outgoing quality level average outgoing quality will be 0 0.5034 percent okay this percent sign is here 
the last and the third third part of the question is average total inspection okay in the third part we have to calculate the total number of articles we have inspected how many articles we have inspected in the first sample when zero defective was there in the first sample we have uh, multiply we will multiply this probability of acceptance by number of sample that is n1 second case when there is one defective in first sample and zero defective in second sample how many articles the combined result will be n1 plus n2 we have to take the combined result for second sample okay remember this n1 we will not write n2 here we will we have to write n1 plus n2 in the third and the last case when the uh, when these articles does not qualify the sampling process then we have to go for 100 percent inspection we have to inspect all these 5000 unit that is whole lot and 1 minus pa is what pa is probability of acceptance so 1 minus pa will be the probability of rejection when this uh, lot uh, the sample is rejected so we have to go for 100 percent inspection of all 5000 unit when we solve this uh, numbers we will get ati that is average total inspection is 2547 okay student but here please keep this in mind this is very very important you have to write answer like this probability of acceptance is this aoq and ati this will complete the whole solution okay thank you students and happy learning